Welcome students. Let us see this question from mechanics. This is a question on uh, wedge problems. Okay. So in this question, um, there is a wedge which is uh, accelerating. There is a wedge which is actually accelerating in the right direction. Okay. And uh, the wedge mass, let us say some mass M is there. We have to find what is the maximum acceleration that is possible for the wedge. Okay, so for this type of problems, we have to see. Uh, we have to first find the uh, free body diagram. So let us draw the all the forces which are acting over here. So the weight will be acting downward. This is mg sine theta component. This is mg cos theta component. Because if this is 45, this is all, if this is theta, if this is theta, this is also theta. Now <clears throat> the wedge is accelerating towards right direction. So for these type of problems, we apply the concept of pseudo forces. We apply the concept of pseudo forces. Okay, pseudo forces are uh, fictitious forces. They don't exist but the benefit of applying pseudo forces is that it converts a problem in uh, a moving object problem into a static problem static equilibrium problem so in that context I have to apply an imaginary acceleration in the left direction so this block will come into a, a static problem now so we have to see what are the components of a here a will have the, if this is theta so this is also theta so this is a cos theta so for the mass it will be the force will be ma cos theta and uh, you will have one more component here ma sin theta so here theta is 45 degrees okay i'm just taking the general uh, notations so the block will have a normal reaction like this and um, the block tries to slide down the block tries to slide down so the friction force will be acting up so now let us frame this equilibrium conditions so first uh, sigma fx is equal to zero so obviously I'm taking uh, this as x and this as y so mg sin theta mg sin theta then you have uh, minus ma cos theta minus ma cos theta minus f is equal to 0 this is your equation 1 now in the other direction sigma f y is equal to 0 so you have if I take upward as positive then it is n minus um, we have to take these two forces now so mg cos theta uh, plus ma sin theta is equal to 0 this is our equation 2 we also know that uh, friction is equal to mu times n where mu is the coefficient of friction okay so from the second equation we can calculate the value of n and put it into the first equation so I'm directly putting that mg sin theta minus ma cos theta minus f minus f means minus mu into n so what is n n is mg cos theta plus ma sin theta from equation so we can cancel out all these m's and we will simplify this so you can see here that uh, um, uh, sin 45 because in the question uh, theta is given as 45 degrees sin 45 and cos 45 they are same only so you can cancel out sin theta cos theta also everywhere so finally you are left with g minus a minus mu mu into g 
minus mu into a is equal to 0. So we are finding out the value of a. So take out a to the right hand side. It becomes a into 1 plus mu is equal to in the left hand side it is g into 1 minus mu. So a is equal to g into 1 minus mu by 1 plus mu. So this is how you have to solve this type of problems.